I meal prepped this chicken last night. It doesn't look that good, but when I heat it up, it's delicious. I think I've shared it before, but basically it's just like pasta with chicken and this dip is like the sauce. It's really easy to make. Here is lunch. Normally I eat this with pasta, but today I'm just filming the chicken. Good afternoon. We got a little bit of a late start to the day today. We're just running some errands. We're gonna stop at Aldi really quick. We've become big Aldi people, mostly because it's the cheapest grocery store. Also, they have like better ingredients in their food, so I've heard. Like they don't have all the stuff that's like toxic and chemically in a lot of their like packaged foods and things like that. That's what I've heard anyway. But anyway, we are gonna go get some stuff from Aldi. We're going out of town this weekend. We're going on a trip with my parents for my sister's birthday. We just kind of want to go anywhere and be together. My brother's not coming, but it'll be the four of us. So we don't need too much. You got the quarter? Yes, I do. It's right here. Our Aldi quarter. Yeah. They had pumpkins for like $3, so I couldn't resist. I wanted to carve some pumpkins, so we got two of them. That'll be fun. One of them is way bigger than the other. I didn't realize that. They're both nice pumpkins though. Yeah, they're cute. Quick little Aldi haul. First, I got my favorite iced coffee. This is the medium unsweetened. I drink this pretty much every single morning. At Kroger, this is like $9 and at Aldi, it is five something. So it's like half the price at Aldi versus Kroger. I don't know all the other grocery stores that have it, but the last time I got it was at Kroger and it was almost double the price. These coconut, chocolate covered almonds. I love these for a little snack or like a little after dinner, something sweet. They're so good. I got some keto coconut clusters. I haven't tried these before, but they look really good and healthy. I got some roasted cashews. And then the last fun little snack is these pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. I love these from Trader Joe's, the pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. And I feel like these are a pretty good dupe. They taste really similar. The only difference really is that, well, they look very different, but these have little like flakes of crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds on the outside of these. And then these, it's just like a pumpkin yogurt coating, but they taste very, very similar. If you love pumpkin flavored stuff and you don't have a Trader Joe's in your town, you can definitely try these from Aldi. And then we also just got a bunch of stuff to make taco soup for dinner tonight. Taco soup is one of our favorites and it's my mom's recipe. It's so good. We just made it like last week and ate it for like probably three or four days straight and we're making it again because it's just... We've really been on a health kick lately. I feel like before our wedding, I was doing really good and I was eating good food and working out, walking all the time. And I was just really taking care of myself to look good for our wedding. And then after our wedding, I feel like I just took a break. I was like, I'm not gonna worry about what I'm eating. And I took a break from working out and everything and I felt like crap. So I've been really trying to just get out of a rut and just get back into fitness and my health and taking care of myself. So a few things that I had to start doing. I stopped eating out on layovers. I started bringing all my food with me. It is crazy the difference, how much better I feel when I'm eating my own food and meal prepping. It's a lot of work to meal prep and then bring that food on a trip, it's a lot, but I just feel so much better. Another thing I had to stop doing was scrolling on TikTok first thing in the morning. I saw someone on TikTok talking about how when you scroll on TikTok first thing in the morning or like any social media, it gives your brain a huge dose of dopamine. dopamine. And then like for the rest of the day, if you have just like a regular day, like a regular work day or chores, errands, things like that, like nothing in your regular day is gonna be as good as that hit of dopamine from TikTok first thing in the morning. And so it just makes you wanna go back to doing that thing where you got that dopamine instead of going about your real life and your day. It's fun, I see funny things, I like to see other people's lives and things like that. But first thing in the morning, for some reason, it's just not good for me. And I also started working out with a personal trainer. I've been on Copilot for probably three weeks, maybe a month. Copilot is an app where you have a personal trainer assigned to you and they come up with workouts for you to do that are completely customized just for you. The app is super easy to use, but it's not just an app, there's a real person that 
that comes up with the workouts for you. You can talk to them at any time you need to and they can adjust the workouts for you if something is too hard or too easy. My workouts are all body weight because I'm always traveling. I like to be able to just work out in my apartment if the gym is full or if I'm on a layover and I don't wanna go down to the hotel gym, I like being able to just do little workouts in my hotel room. The app is super easy to use. It's like a video where you can see the person that's doing the exercises so you can follow that person. It has a countdown for each of the exercises, which I love, and you can rate your workouts afterwards. So if something is too hard or too easy, they can adjust that for you. So my personal trainer, Lauren, it came up with two different workouts for me to do. On the calendar in the app, I have it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it's not like a class where you know other people are there and you have to show up. You can do it anytime throughout the day or the week. I could just never come up with my own kind of workout routine. Like if I just go to a gym, I don't really know what I'm doing if I'm not following some kind of plan. So the app has been very helpful with just making my routine consistent and just making me feel overall healthier. This is the first time that I've ever worked with a personal trainer and it's been going really great. So if you're interested in getting started with a personal trainer on Copilot, you can click the link in the description box and get a 14 day free trial. Two weeks free with a personal trainer is an awesome deal. Okay, it's a little bit later now. I'm gonna do one of my extra workouts while I'm cooking dinner. I have a core work and a full body daily stretch. I'm gonna do the core work workout. So here is the whole workout and my Apple Watch is dead, so I'm just gonna do it on my phone. Okay, so here's everything for our taco soup. If you're making it the Stace Cast way, you're gonna go with just these ingredients, beans, corn, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. But if you're making it my way, I add in some Rotel and some beef broth or beef stock. I don't really know what the difference is. And then of course you gotta have some taco seasoning and I already have some ground beef in there. Here is my taco soup and I'm just gonna top it with some cheese and some Fritos and it's gonna be 10 out of 10 delicious. Good morning, it is the next day. Sydney is coming to town today. She's gonna come and stay with us tonight and then she's working tomorrow. Sydney's here. <laughs> Hi. We just went and got massages and got cracked at the chiropractor. Sydney's about to start six days working. I don't know why I did she that. She commuted in this morning. Ah! Everybody asks, keeps asking me why you moved. I'm Everybody. poor. <laughs> I'm poor and I moved back in with my parents. Okay, I came out here from the shower and found Sydney and Josh watching Miss USA and Sydney said, yeah, we've been writing the girls. We have. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe a couple like this. Oh, I'm Getting sorry. closer to the crown, our second runner-up. 2023. If for any reason the crowned Miss USA cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up shall take her place. And congratulations. In the high-rise apartment in the Porsche. In the cash money prize. <laughs> the Mealix. <laughs> Good morning. I have been up since like 5 a.m. because I had to check us in for our flight tomorrow. We decided on going to St. Lucia with my parents. We found a really cute Airbnb. Haven't booked it yet because you already know, fly on standby, you gotta have a backup plan. You can't book the Airbnb or hotel until you are on the plane. But last night, the flights were pretty open. And then this morning when I went to check us in, they're full and there's like 40 non-revs trying to get to St. Lucia, I'm like, <laughs> How did everyone have the same idea that we had? I think the plan is just to try to meet my parents in Miami and then go from there. We definitely want to do something tropical. We were thinking about going to Maine um, and going to Acadia National Park, which I feel like I've been talking about going to Acadia for years on my channel and have never made it. But I think we just want to go somewhere warm and where the weather is nice. And we looked at Maine and the weather for this weekend is gonna be like cold and rainy. But thankfully we don't have anything booked and we can just change our travel plans based on the weather. And we also have an event that we're going to tonight and Josh and I both haven't packed yet. So we really need to do that today. I'm just gonna pack for warm weather though. I think whatever our backup plan is, if we don't make it to St. Lucia, we'll go somewhere warm. Okay, I got a couple new things from Amazon. First of all, these beautiful earrings. Oh my goodness. I just think these are so simple and cute. I also got a new nail kit to do my nails at home. To be honest, I just cannot afford to get my nails done anymore. So they have looked like this since our wedding. Just decided to get them done for like 
events and things like that, like our wedding. I flew with this girl the other day and she had the most beautiful nails. They were perfect. And I just complimented her nails. I was like, oh, that's such a pretty color. And she was like, thanks, I did it myself. And I was shocked because they were so pretty. I pulled up Amazon and I was like, show me exactly what you have because I'm buying it right now. So these are the different colors that it came with and then it came with the little light. And I also got this little kit that has the tips. I got almond tips, lots and lots of tips in there. This should last me honestly till the rest of my life because I don't always have my nails done. This is the dress that I'm gonna wear tonight. It's just a black long sleeve dress and it has shapewear built inside. I also got this external hard drive off of Amazon. My computer is completely out of space. And then last but not least, we've got this PR package from La Roche Posse. My friend Melissa called this La Roche Posse. And that is all I've been calling it since I heard her say that. It's definitely one of my favorite skincare brands. We've got a gel cleanser. I haven't used this one. We have this triple repair moisturizing cream. We have SPF 70 daily lotion sunscreen. This is a really good acne treatment. I've used this before. Eclair Duo dual action acne treatment. One of my favorites, this is the Cicaplast Balm B5 multi-purpose cream. And then we've got another sunscreen, Melt in Milk sunscreen, SPF 100. And then another thing that I love is the thermal spring water. I like to use this when I use a uh, hyaluronic acid. I'll just spray my face with this and then put hyaluronic acid on after. The sprayer on this is so good and it just feels really nice. Okay, I'm almost done getting ready. I washed my hair and used my Dyson. This is the best that my Dyson can do. Neither of us are packed. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't, I don't usually feel like this kind of thing looks good on me. Okay. Um, it's not terrible. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Josh is a hole in his sock. Okay, here is the fit. Looks beautiful. Thank you. It is a pretty nice dress from Amazon. However, I don't think it's worth the price. It's like $89 and I feel like you would be better off with just wearing Spanx underneath a dress like this. Let's see how many seats are open on the flight tomorrow. I'm guessing 14. What are you guessing? I think my mom and dad will be fine, but it might be a rough day for us. Where are we at on the list? <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> okay, we just got home and this is the current situation. We haven't started packing at all and it is like after 10 p.m. at this point, our flight is boarding at like 4.40. So I'm a little bit stressed. Okay, I'm pretty much packed now. I'm gonna do some heatless curls with a pair of leggings before bed, even though it is 11.40. I mean, really, we have to be up in just a few hours. So. I don't know if these will really even be in long enough to do anything. There are so many creative people doing heatless curls with all kinds of different things. But I think that the leggings are the easiest to sleep in. Both the flights that we're trying to take tomorrow look pretty full, but I'm hoping that we can just at least get to Miami and meet up with my parents because I really miss them and I really want to get to see them tomorrow. But I'm definitely not looking forward to this early morning flight, especially not knowing if we're even gonna make it on. Like we may be waking up at 3.30 in the morning for absolutely no reason. Also, we forgot about the laundry that we had going earlier today. So we've got some clothes drying that Josh wants to pack. So I'm a little bit stressed out, but I'm done packing. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, go get ready for bed. I'll definitely be vlogging the trip with my parents, but it'll be a separate video. Don't forget to check out Copilot in the description box below if you're interested in getting two weeks free with a personal trainer. And that is it for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go finish getting ready for bed. And I'll see y'all tomorrow in a new video. Wish us luck with our flight tomorrow.